Thomas and his friends have been made available in many different sizes and scales. Electric models of the characters have been produced by many companies for different gauges. Some companies span different gauges, but only one company produces Thomas for the O-Scale world. Welcome everyone to a review of Lionel's infamous and entire Thomas and Friends range. Six engines, six reviews, let's get this show on the road. Today we'll be looking at an O-scale representation of Thomas the Tank Engine. First impressions are very important, and Lionel did a fantastic job of showing you what to expect when you open up the box of your model. The box is decorated in that famous blue and yellow lining with the Thomas and Friends logo nice and big. There are two cutouts in the box, one to see the remote control to power the engine, and one of the engine itself. When you open the box, the model sits snug inside, wrapped in paper and a protective plastic overlay. Right behind the styrofoam insert is an operator's manual for Thomas. This shows you everything you need to know about running the engine on your layout. Okay, so now that we've got Thomas out of his box, he looks really nice. His paint is applied wonderfully and there are no chips or dents or anything in this model. When you take an all-around look at him, this engine is clearly Thomas the Tank Engine, with bright blue paint and a big number one on his side. But while the finish of the locomotive looks really nice, there's no such thing as a positive without a negative. The Lionel Thomas has a very questionable look to him. Almost all of his proportions seem really off, to say the least. His wheels seem too far squished together, and his body goes really far past his last wheel, leaving a large gap in the chassis. His buffers are also not the correct size for O-Gage. They are actually under scale and very under detailed at that. He doesn't have any lamp irons or even a lamp, and his back lamp is molded into the plastic rather than a separately fitted item. This back lamp is also non-operational. This model has actually been in production since 1997 and has gone through many different changes. The version you see here is the 2013 re-release with the Lion Chief Sounds remote. The original version was just a transformer controlled engine that came with three different faces to put on the engine, and the 2001 re-release came with moving eyes and the three faces. The 2013 version does not come with the three different facial expressions individually. If you want those, you have to get the starter set version that also comes with Annie and Clarabelle. I've also noticed that my Thomas's eyes don't move at all. And to be honest, I'm not sure if that's how they make them now, or if I just have a defective model. But if they did work, the eyes would just move side to side as Thomas runs down the track. So with first impressions out of the way, it's time to put him on the track. But Thomas won't be going anywhere if we don't take a look at his remote control. Now this is the Lion Chief remote control for Thomas. This is actually how you control Thomas, he is not transformer controlled. In order to get this working, you must unscrew the back of the remote and pop in three AAA batteries. Once those are in, put Thomas on the track, put your transformer all the way up to 100, and Thomas will begin to make sounds. When Thomas is an idle on the track, he will actually make idle sounds that real steam engines do. You can hear his steam hissing and him getting cold. This is really cool. Next, just turn the switch on the remote control to on, and a little red light will appear. This tells you that the remote is on. There are three buttons and a large knob-like arrow on the controller. The buttons are Thomas's whistle, bell, and Sir Topham Hat speaking. Let's take a listen. This knob is what moves Thomas. As you can see, it goes forward in reverse. Let's just run him back and forth to see if he works. Okay, so it looks like Thomas is working great. So now that you got to hear his sounds, let's couple him up to some rolling stock and see Thomas run around my layout.
So overall, what do I think of the Lionel Thomas? Well, let's be real. His proportions are way off, and they have changed his model so many times it's hard to keep up. But with the addition of the new Lion Chief remote, this is honestly the most fun I've had with a model train in a very long time. Something about giving it lots of sounds at your disposal really makes the model come to life. Lionel's rendition of Thomas isn't the best Thomas on the market, but he is the only O-Gage Thomas on the market, and he's a lot of fun. Until next time, this has been Thomas DOTD, and I hope to see you again very soon.